Go. Come on, drive, 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 drive. Faster, Woo! Percy, faster, Woo! Percy. Woo! Come on, Percy. Come on, Percy. Okay, easy. Welcome to the most overrated, underappreciated, most viewed, underviewed podcast of all time. Welcome to the Prince of Fresh Air. That's right, baby. The most charismatic man is in entertainment is back with this guy, Dimitri. How you doing, man? What's up, man? Good to be here. So let's get straight into the controversy. Let's not play games with the people here. So Netflix and their newest movie, Cuties, <laughs> which is number one trending in the world right now. Outside of all the forest fires and stuff going on. Uh, for people who don't know, Cuties is a new movie uh, based upon, upon a 11-year-old girl who grows up in a Muslim home in Paris and decides that she wants to rebel against her culture and her parents. So she decides to join uh, a twerk group and a bunch of uh, young girls decide to do this dance competition and wow. it's just, yeah, it's uh, people who's been raving about it and upset and starting to hashtag cancel Netflix. What do you think about all of this? Have you watched I, the movie? I, I am not watching that goddamn movie. But I'll tell you, that's the first time that I actually heard the premise, like the synopsis of the, of the movie. I didn't know that. I thought it was like maybe a dance team. I didn't know that it was a freaking twerk team, which is disgusting. These these little girls, they look like they're like two, three years old. Like they're they're little kids. Like who would want to watch that? And the thing is, people shouldn't be talking about cancel Netflix. And then here's why. Here's my take on that. Yeah, you can criticize them for saying, oh, well, why would you put that on the platform? Look, they're a network. They're just going to do what they're going to do. All they care about is money and, you know, revenue and all that stuff. They don't care about that. You people need to criticize the quote unquote stage parents really the handlers at this point because i can have a daughter that's super talented and everything like that i'm reading the scripts okay it's not like oh i'm signing her up to be in this movie and i have no idea what the movie's about so these parents had to have some idea or clue as to what their kids were getting into before that and you could even look in the promo like pictures these kids they look like they're scared like like look at these little girls in the eye when when you look at like the posters and they're posing and all that stuff. They have like these straight faces. Their eyes look mad, empty. I don't know what the hell's going on. But to me, I think it's disgusting. The outrage is is on point. People are, you know, justified for that. But don't get mad at Netflix because nobody's going to stop watching Netflix just because of this movie. You need to criticize, you know, the director, the writer, the producers, and the freaking parents and everybody who was on set because that's disgusting. Like, I wouldn't even want to do background for a movie like that because I'd just be like, yo, what's going on here? You couldn't pay me enough to just stand in the background and watch that freaking nasty display, you know, little little girls freaking, you know, gyrating their backs and, and stuff like that because they're skinny as hell. You know what I mean? What are they twerking? Their backs? It's just disgusting. I've seen yeah. little clips of that. It's just gross. I ain't even watch no clips. I'm not watching a movie. And my whole thing was this. If, when this first came out, uh, the first complaints or pushback started in like August. And the thing was, people were already complaining and never watched the movie. Now, obviously, I'm not watching the movie, but I did take the time to read about it and read headlines and reviews about it. And right. I said the same thing. I think it comes down to whose fault is this? It ain't Netflix's fault. They're just trying to put out a movie. Yeah. And to be honest, That's I'm not surprised. You know, look at the, the last trending movie that they had. It was basically a porno and like people really didn't complain about it. So I think uh, to start it off, I do think the parents are the ones to, to blame yeah. because a lot of parents and I love the entertainment industry, but a lot of parents are very, uh, you know, hungry for their kid to, to do whatever they can to achieve success in this business. Yeah. And to allow your kid to do a movie like this is, is quite frankly, you know, not surprising. Disgrace. Uh, but it's it is a disgrace. I've I've been, I've done, I've auditioned <laughs> for reality TV shows. And the things that parents will do to try to get their, their kids in front of the, the camera is, it's obnoxious to say the least. And I think they, and I'm not saying they're 100% the ones at fault, but it starts with the parents. It starts you know with saying? the parents. It's like this. I, I had a conversation with my agent when I first signed with him. 
And one thing I always, I, I stress to him is like, I'm grateful for the opportunity, but there are certain things I'm not willing to do regardless of it, you know, of my career. You know, there's just certain things I, I, I'm not comfortable I'm not going to compromise on. Exactly. No amount of money is going to make me compromise my morals. But you also have those other people, <laughs> aka parents, who don't care. And they're just like, all right, oh, it's Netflix. So let me, let me try to get my daughter in this movie. Yeah. And, and look, this movie is not getting the, 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 the achievement and success that they thought it was going to get. And yep. I'm not blaming all of it on the parents, but it has to start with the parents that they let their kids be in a movie like this. And now they, it's getting backlash. It, it, it's insane. I'm not even, I'm not even letting my kids do these crazy ass horror films like that. That's one. Like if I had kids and then they are actors, they're not doing saw three. They're not doing saw five. You know, you know what I'm saying? They're not doing, there's a certain, you know, movies or films or, or, you know, television shows or whatever that they just wouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? I think the blame is really like 90, 10 or like 80, 20, you know, 80, 80 percent is on the parents because you just, you just sign them with that. I think every parent, it wouldn't have gotten made if every single parent who, you know, made it to callbacks or did the audition or was sitting at the table negotiating pay and everything and reading the scripts said no, then they wouldn't have been able to make the film. To me, this was like an absolute waste of a film budget because how much did it probably take to make this movie? Maybe, you know, six figures, you know, probably, you know, maybe a million or two, you know, it's not, I'm pretty sure it's not the highest budget. It was a waste of time. They could have gave me that money. Right. <laughs> Yeah, and so you're gonna just blow six six hundred thousand dollars, five hundred thousand dollars, a million. Yeah, so basically, what people are complaining about is that a lot of people feel like uh, the movie provides uncomfortable images to provoke a serious conversation about sexualization of girls, especially girls of color, uh, little kids. Yeah, policing of girl sexuality, double standards, and affect the social media on kids. And how these kids learn behavior. And I mean, I get it, but the premise itself just sucks. And it, it's ridiculous that the whole premise of the movie is that a 11 year old kid wants to rebel against her parents and her culture. And, you know, she decides that, you know what, I wanna do whatever I wanna do. And so she goes to, you know, join a twerking group. And the kicker about it was apparently towards the end of the movie. She had a choice. It was either go join a competition, uh, a dance competition with her team, or go to a wedding that her father was having. And she had basically pled her mom to let her go and do the 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 um the the dance competition. So basically, you know, the aunt comes in and she says, you know what, I blame, you know, obviously Amy is the lead girl's name. She blames Amy's mom for letting her With the run little around girl. do all this. Yeah, blame the mom for let her do all of this and running around and do whatever she wants to do. And then it, it comes down to the fact that she was like, I have a wedding to go to. And Amy decided, you know what, I'm not doing either. She put on some clothes and went hopscotching in front of the house with her friends. So it's like the whole premise of this is just, okay, now nah, 11 year old kid. Not even just a girl, but eleven year old kid is running a household, doing whatever they want to do. Like I twenty twenty. I I think it comes. I think this whole women empowerment thing is great. I love it. I support it. Going too but far. But I think it's going too far. Like eleven year old girl now is running around, leaving the house in the middle of the night when her parents are sleeping. Pushing girls into lakes to join a competition. Well, it's definitely and, hyperbole because you know black little black girls can't do that in a black household. <laughs> it's definitely hyperbole. Yeah, it's the the whole premise of this is just, and I get as a movie, and I'm only speaking about it because people are throwing an outrage and saying cancel Netflix, and people saying that it's promoting pedophilia, soft porn. Kind of is that, when you look at it. It it really it really looks like this isn't a movie that for kids you know what i'm saying like you know how there's certain like you have like a cheerleader movie with like little girls and then you could just tell that like it's the appeal is for kids when when you'll see like little you know snippets on like channel seven or cnn you know the those news outlets that are um you know reporting the news it doesn't look like a movie that's for kids 
it looks like a movie that's for older people. And why would any older person in his or her right mind want to watch a film like that? Like yeah. from the shots, the way that the, the, the little girls are presenting themselves, like it's not, this isn't a kid's movie. You wouldn't, you wouldn't see a movie like that on Disney Channel. You wouldn't see a movie like that on Nickelodeon, et cetera. It just doesn't look right. And I mean, honestly, like I said, I wouldn't say it's Netflix's fault, but I sh- do believe that they should take the movie down if they haven't already. I think I'm going to get into uh, why I don't think they should take it down. But I think this whole cancel Netflix thing is, is being blown way out of proportion. And I've worked uh, dance competitions last summer. Uh, my buddy's dad works at a Catholic school, but they partner with one of the biggest uh, dance competition uh, touring companies. And they would do dance competition. And I remember, like, I, I would do security. It was it would be, like, three of us. And, like, the the ages would be from 10 years old to 18. And I was just looking around, like, man, like, wow, some of, some of these outfits are just, you know, too revealing. And it's not the, the dance company's fault, uh, the, you know, the touring company's fault. It's the dance company's fault that a little girl's wearing... Uh, you know th- these inappropriate clothing and stuff like that and then you see a movie like this it's not surprising and i think netflix reason for this movie was to show that social media and the influence on kids is huge because the way how this whole movie starts is that she's just sitting at home obviously she already has the idea that she hates being a muslim uh on i would excuse me not s- hates muslim but she hates the having to follow the guidelines of muslim and she sees her neighbor twerking you know what i'm saying and i think that whole thing starts with the conversation of this is what little kids are watching this is what little kids go on the internet and see so they get they get uh you know they get you know attached to the idea that maybe they want to do that too and i firmly agree when netflix is uh you know pro- if, if this is what they were going for that kids do need to learn how to be kids. This whole movie was a train wreck. It was basically a little girl running her own life, doing whatever she wants to do. And it's it's crazy because I'll go on Facebook and now argue with these little kids. I'm like, yo, why are you on Facebook? You are 12 years old. You should not be on Facebook talking trash, calling people N-words and saying all this nonsense, 